All right, so we're here today with the Eastwood four foot by four foot plasma cutting table and it's packed full of potential. But before we get to cutting, we gotta go through the checklist, make sure everything's set up. All right, first thing you need is air supply to your CNC plasma cutter. It requires five to seven CFM at 60 PSI. That goes right into the back of the machine. Next, you need power for the CNC plasma cutter and the table. The CNC plasma cutter needs 240 volts with at least a 50 amp breaker, and the table just needs 120 volt household power supply. Now we need to ground our workpiece before we can start cutting. It's always recommended to go right to the workpiece with your ground strap. When you're cutting, you can cut without fluid, but we always recommend utilizing our Eastwood plasma table fluid because it cuts down on corrosion, fungal buildup, and ensures you always get the best results possible. Next, we need to check a few things. First is torch angle. It's as simple as putting a workpiece down, grabbing a square, and making sure the torch is perpendicular to the workpiece. After you verify the torch angle is good, you want to check your consumables. You want to make sure the electrode's not worn out and the nozzle isn't blown out. Next, with everything powered on, you want to make sure that the gantry traverses in all directions. You want to make sure your torch height controller works. And you can also test airflow through the torch by using the test air switch on the plasma cutter. So last but not least, you want to do a safety check. Especially when you're cutting without fluid, this thing throws a lot of sparks. You want to make sure there's no flambles or anything that's going to catch fire in the area. There you have it. It's that easy to get set up for plasma cutting. Now if you want to see this cut, go check out our YouTube playlist, and while you're there, subscribe. For more information on this machine or any other tools we offer, go check out eastwood.com.